Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, I want to bring you guys a quick guide for the new combat simulation um, nuking event that just dropped on Global to hopefully help you guys clear all the missions and to get all of the rewards. Okay, so let's pop into the event here. And as you guys can see, there are, once it loads, there are five different stages, but you don't actually have to clear all of the stages because they don't give you any stones, they don't give you any rewards. You only get rewards by clearing the missions. So the main thing you want to focus on here is choosing the stage that will be weak against the main unit you're going to be attacking with. Okay, so since the weakness right now for round one is Universe Survival Saga, we're going to be attacking with LR, uh, Goku, and Frieza. So I'm going to choose the AGL stage here. And for the friend lead, we're actually going to go with Candy Vegito. Now, they did ban all of the traditional nuke leads for this event, like the Fizz Goku, Tech Vegeta, uh, Golden Frieza, so on and so forth. But they still allow us to use Candy Vegito. And even though he's not as good of a nuke lead as those other units, he's still good enough for this event. So his leader skill is attack and defense plus 20%, her key sphere obtained. And taking a quick look at the team here, the strategy should be pretty obvious, right? We have the Candy Vegitos for their leader skills. We have Goku and Frieza as the main attacker. And then just a bunch of support units for extra attack. And then for support items, you're only allowed to bring one, but one is actually more than enough. So we're going to be going with the Takoyaki, but you could also use any of the other, you know, orb changing slash attack boosting items like uh, the Chilai, the Lemo, the uh, Dabura Cookie, and also this guy right here. So, I mean, obviously, since we're using Goku and Frieza, who are a tech-type unit, the Takoyaki does make the most sense, but the other units can also work just fine. So, uh, we got our setup here. Now, let's jump into the event, and I'll show you guys exactly how it's going to work. So... Uh, it says here, thanks to the Dragon Balls, his subordinates have gathered. Frieza was back in the land of the living, driven by revenge. Frieza began training, attaining a new, more powerful form, and thus, Golden Frieza was born. So a little bit of backstory. I don't know if anybody really cares, but still pretty cool. And it looks like there's also some dialogue. So I'm not going to read all of this. If you guys want to, then go for it. But... Uh... The point of this video, obviously, is to show you guys how to beat this Goku. So here we go. We have our LR on the second rotation. So for this first rotation, let's just give a few orbs to everybody. Doesn't really matter too much. And uh, we'll get through this. And then on the second rotation, we'll pop the Takoyaki items. Hopefully get at least like 10 to 15 orbs for Goku and Frieza. And then we'll be good. Okay, so there's one. That's going to change a decent amount, actually. Okay, so let's change those int ones now. Or all of them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. So 23 tech orbs. You're not always going to get this lucky. But I think as long as you get like 15 or more, you're pretty much guaranteed to uh, kill this Goku. So here we go, we have 35.7 million as the attack stat, 35.7, and we're gonna hit for 99.99999 million, or 99 million, 999,999, which of course is max damage, and there is Goku, he's dead. And uh, Frieza says, I can see it all with 200% clarity, your movement and my victory. Ho ho ho, my strength shall know no limits. Clearly, I'm not a voice actor. Okay, so stage cleared. And like I said, you get no stones for clearing the stage itself. But you do get to complete all the missions and collect those missions. And I believe it's a grand total of five stones. Yeah, five stones. Couple of Hercule statues, couple of Sleepy Kai's, incredible gems, training items, and a training location. And that's pretty much it. That's round one for you guys. Round two will be coming in about four days. And the four days after that, we have round three. Four days after that, we have round four. And then round five at the end. And that's going to be the event. Now, in terms of the categories, I actually forgot what they were. So let me check real quick. 
uh, yeah, Universe Survival Saga is on right now, and then after it's going to be Resurrected Warriors, Wicked Bloodline, a Transformation Boost, and Otherworld Warriors. And you can basically apply a similar strategy to each of the stages, right? Have two Candy Vegitos as your leads. I mean, that's definitely going to be the strategy that I'll be using for my runs. You guys can do something different. I've seen people use a bunch of different teams and still beat Goku within a few turns. So it's definitely not the only method, but I feel like this is the most straightforward and effective method, also the most accessible method to everybody since Candy Vegito is free to play, right? So to break everything down to quickly summarize the strategy here, you basically want to do double Candy Vegito leads. You want one really hard hitter on your team. It doesn't have to be LR Goku and Frieza. It could be anybody else that hits really hard and is in the effective category. Fill the rest of your team out with the best support units you have available to you and then bring a new king support item like the Takoyaki, Chilai, uh, Tapura Cookie, so on and so forth. And from there, you enter the stage. Oh, by the way, choose the stage that has type disadvantage to your attacker. So since we're bringing LR, Goku, and Frieza, we went with AGL today. And then once you're in the stage, obviously pop those items twice, hopefully get a good amount of orbs changed, give those orbs to your attacker, do a lot of damage, kill Goku, and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. This can be applied to all five of the rounds. And that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully this guide at least helped you a little bit in getting those missions done, getting those dragon stones, those Kais, all that good stuff. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.